Hi Aries, this is going to be a timeless reading for your sign. You can apply it to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or South Node. I am going to get right into the reading, splitting it into three sections. So first, general messages, and then love and relationship, and career and finance. So getting right into it, let's see what you need to hear at this time. Again, this is going to be a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it is when you can apply it to your life. Let's see here. I'm going to start with my angel number oracle deck. General messages for Aries. What does Aries need to hear? Okay. Two cards came out, the whole deck. And they are shift, which is a 5-5. Five, five, and you have confidence. So immediately I'm thinking like a shift in your confidence, a confidence boost. So there could be something that's happening that creates this kind of like confidence boost. Or you could be called to kind of shift your focus or shift your perspective. And this is going to help you guys gain more confidence. Um, I feel like there's multiple storylines here. So I do think that for some of you, you're about to achieve something or get a breakthrough that's going to help you to finally feel confident in moving forward and then for others of you it does feel like there may be a need to find ways to shift your energy whether it be you know trying new things going to new places connecting with new people um when I think of five five I think of change and there is a butterfly there the card is shift so it shows that you guys are evolving in some way um, but fives also make me think of like a blockage or like limitation. So you might be limiting yourself in some way. What I actually just heard with the butterfly wings spreading is like big fish in a small pond. So Aries, this could be about travel for some of you. It was 222 on the time when I said big fish, small pond. Um, so you actually do have like 272 here. Um, so confidence also feels like it's going to unlock some kind of gift or opportunity or like luck or something like that with the seven. Sevens always make me think of luck. Um, and then twos always make me think of alignment. So even that two, two, two that I just saw. Um, but as I was saying, it feels like you guys are, um, going to need like you need to change something or you may need to embrace some kind of change in your life with the butterfly wings spreading it does feel like you guys could be outgrowing something um, I'm trying to think of what I was just saying a second ago the term that I used or the phrase but yeah you guys are definitely outgrowing something or you're evolving I think I was saying um, and there's a need to let go of some things you know it could be people it could be your environment so I'm kind of picking up on traveling just because I'm kind of sensing that you may need to like change environments and I think recognizing that your current environment is either holding you back or it's like limiting the kind of opportunities you guys could be getting right now that's kind of what I'm sensing so this feels almost career related ambition related uh, so keep that in mind. But for those of you I was saying are going to be experiencing some kind of change, this could almost be like a door opening where it's like you're getting an offer and you have to move for it um, to take the job or you're um, traveling for some kind of opportunity or you're invited somewhere and it's giving you confidence. It's almost like you are finally feeling recognized, you know, and so um, that is really good. But yeah just um make sure you're putting yourself out there make sure that you're i just heard putting your best foot forward and so this could also be about really getting out of your head you know when it comes to making any impressions on people or just connecting with people reaching out to people um i think that some of you just need to be yourselves is what i'm hearing with this 272 like being yourself is really what's going to attract um the right opportunities and the right connections but there's a need for you to just like focus on being authentic and living in your truth and knowing that that also might create changes in your life so some of you guys might end up like pushing people away because you're showing up for yourself or you're you know focusing your energy elsewhere and maybe you know 
other people don't like that or don't really approve what you're doing you know so that's also what I'm sensing so I think that the confidence is just saying like as long as you're staying true to yourself everything's gonna work out everything's gonna align uh, eventually but right now it could feel like there are certain shifts taking place so if you're watching this um as I'm posting it in April then you know that we just had the new moon eclipse in Aries so new energy coming in is obviously gonna uh, mean that other energy has to come out or leave so um yeah i think that that's gonna be the case for you guys but i'm gonna move on to love and relationships so in regards to love and relationships for aries whoa cards just flying out a lot of cards actually so beauty is the first card that just flew out for you guys um i'm immediately picking up on empress energy which is funny because we are uh, officially in Taurus season. And so, again, if you're watching this presently as I have posted it or within, you know, a few days or a week uh, that I posted this, then it definitely feels like there's a need to take advantage of this Taurus season or just be mindful of how you're um, investing your energy this Taurus season. I think there is a need to kind of focus on the, like, finer things in life or just, like, the simple things even you know it's not always just about even material when i say finer things in life sometimes it's just like those things that are like priceless basically so the first card that came out here is beauty and it says charming graceful kind-hearted um and so i don't know why i translated it that way like there's a need for you to just kind of um like focus on having these like priceless moments and um, being present in your life because the beauty card didn't immediately make me think of like superficial beauty as in a person Although it does say charming graceful kind-hearted. I think you guys are that way naturally, but I'm also hearing Aries that you guys um are almost like Admirable to other people because you guys are just very like down to earth but somehow you're still like very attractive but you don't very you don't try very hard like I'm getting that for some reason so with love people might be attracted to you for that reason it could be your natural beauty so I don't know just thinking of Taurus season um and me saying like the finer things or the simple things like I think people are attracted to you guys because of that or someone maybe like specifically is attracted to you guys because of this you could even bring the simple things into their life or help them appreciate the simple things as well Aries it feels like there could be someone in your life that you have almost like stunned with your beauty or just stunned with like your energy your essence and you've like humbled them or you've like brought this almost like softness and like calm into their life or you've made them almost want to be you know like not better but for some reason i'm almost seeing like a beauty and the beast kind of energy like you guys would be dealing with the beast um and this could also be like um a reference to two sides of yourself as well like someone seeing you as the traditional fiery aries energy that you are but also like maybe someone's finally seeing your softer side or this like more nurturing side to you or even just like you strip back you know you behind cl closed doors or something like that and this person's really drawn to that side of you and they're starting to realize like wow this person is a lot of the things that i've been looking for or that i like didn't even know i needed um so this is cute i like that i think that this person definitely sees you as a catch it's very like venetian but i'm also sensing like if you guys are Aries placements you could also have Taurus placements and then with that Beauty and the Beast reference I was also sensing Leo so you could also be dealing with the Leo placement or you could have Leo placements yourself but Taurus and Leo um could either be you or someone else's energy um but yeah they definitely see you this way because the family card came out next and it says fertility parenthood and pregnancy so some of you guys could also be having a baby so maybe if your partner is seeing you like pregnant they're like oh my goodness like i don't know like just in that natural state you know what i mean but some of you could uh your partner could also be thinking like i want to get them pregnant you know i see them as the mother of my child um or i want to have a family with this person so uh that could be the case you know like if you're not um if you don't identify as a woman watching this then it could also be that the person you're with is like that like that's daddy energy like i'm trying to get knocked up by this person you know what i mean so um 
yeah family fertility parenthood pregnancy so if you're not trying to get pregnant be careful um at this time because there could be this kind of like lust energy that's surrounding you or you could just feel like very sexually um driven or even just connected to someone at this time like maybe you're having more sex than usual um or something like that and so uh just watch out make sure that you're being safe um the next card for you guys was conflict that came out so remember all these cards like fell out all together and it's really interesting because you have these two cards that seem super peaceful and like ideal beauty and family and then you have these two other cards which honestly is immediately making me think of like the Taurus Scorpio axis so I say these readings are timeless but I always reference astrology transits so you know take it as it resonates of course but I'm thinking of like Scorpio opposing Taurus we're in Taurus season and these two cards that came out are conflict and then cloudy judgment and so you could see how there's like lightning over here clouds and I just heard a storm's brewing so Aries um I don't know why it makes me think like a storm coming in or drama or someone else even coming in like a contrasting energy coming in to try to like disturb your peace or even like I'm kind of hearing like break up your happy home or something and so that's interesting another storyline I'm getting is if some of you guys are dealing with someone who like has a family there could be conflict there where like this person's torn between you and somebody else like they see you as the person that they would want to have a family with or want to have kids with but they might have kids with someone else and that's a conflict for them because conflict here says clashing differences incompatibility and the fact that I was picking up on that Scorpio energy, there could even be like secrets or like someone's maybe not like necessarily telling you everything or you don't see everything right now. Because the lightning also makes me think in this card that something's going to be revealed because it says cloudy judgment and it says illusions, unbalanced, distorted. So definitely not seeing something clearly. Um, but I think that this like lightning kind of reflects a tower moment where you're going to be realizing something so make sure also that you're not kind of like fantasizing um or romanticizing a relationship that you have with the person and you're not you know being safe or you're like being impulsive and kind of like in your feelings about it to the point where you're not necessarily thinking fully logically um make sure that that's not leading to any potential like messiness or um, just you know making poor decisions so keep that in mind in regards to love Aries moving on to career and finance I'm using my modern runes oracle deck so let's see what comes out this is for Aries spirit what does Aries need to hear regarding career and finance at this time what does Aries need to hear regarding career so I immediately just heard everybody eats, which is a term that's used when people are focused on community or like building with people and making sure that, you know, they're providing resources to, you know, their people, their community. And this card also makes me think of like a family dinner or even like your culture, like your heritage. Um, so this, I don't know, this card makes me think that you guys are meant to almost focus on incorporating your family your culture your community or something like that into what you do uh some of you, you guys it could be related to like cooking or actually providing food or resources it could even be like um not full-on donating but like whether it's pooling resources or crowdfunding and things like that i'm also seeing um, I'm hearing a seat at the table as well. So it could be offering opportunities to people who maybe don't necessarily have them, you know? Um, but I feel like with this card here and this person's looking in the mirror and kind of assessing themselves, it does make me think like, who do you want to be? You know, um, I'm hearing that J. Cole song, who you want to, who you want to be? Or uh, what does he say? Do you want to be, do you want to, do you want to be happy? Do you want to, do you want to be free? I said, do you want to, do you want to be happy? That song's so good. But anyway, free from pain, free from, I'm just trying to think of what he says. 
Um, yeah, so listen to that song. I can't even think what it's called, is it? I don't know what it's even called right now. I'll end up just putting it in the caption for you guys afterwards once I look it up, but um, listen to that J. Cole song. And uh, this card here just makes me think you guys are focusing on, you know, who you want to be, the role you want to play, and also what you can offer to other people, like how you want to represent yourself, how you want to show up right now. This person is cutting their hair, dyeing their hair, so they're kind of experimenting with their look or their identity. And so I think that this also refers to you guys almost kind of playing different roles, you know, whether it is in your community or in your friend group or your family, like taking on different roles. So this might be something you have to do um, or that you're meant to do as like your destiny or your calling because it would really support people or help people in a major way. Because this fortune cookie makes me think it's like a fortune, like it's your destiny. It's like a faded like message that you're being meant to receive regarding, you know, this kind of like community effort and like leadership role potentially and, and like putting other people on or bringing other people together. Um, and it could again be related to like food or, uh, something like that but it could also be like say you want to host or something you know like host events or dinners or something um and then for others of you it could just be more so like uh like some kind of nourishment for other people you know um some kind of offering as well so it could be a service um it could be a gift that you have, a talent that you have, a skill that you have that you're like sharing with other people or you could even, um, what I'm kind of seeing for you guys, Aries, is like there's a need to recognize you have more to give and so consider how you can not only focus on yourself but focus on how you as a leader can then pour into others at this point because I feel like for some of you guys, you've accomplished so much because I am getting this like whether it's like nine of coins or even almost ten of coins because you even got family earlier um, with that beauty card. So it is giving like nine of coins wanting to move into ten of coins energy where you guys are really like building this legacy for yourself. It also makes me think of the fourth house, tenth house access. I know I'm throwing a lot of astrology references out there, but if it resonates with you it does but that like fourth house being family roots foundations and the tenth house being your ambitions legacy career goals and so it makes me think like what are you you know how are you focusing on whether it's like your family the generations to come and like what do you have to offer how else could you be showing up what do you want to be known for what do you also want to like, what do you want to like stand for? You know what I mean? What do you stand for? Is something I'm also seeing. Hmm. I think for some of you, you, you could be outgrowing certain people as well. Um, I think I said that at the beginning for you guys, but I almost feel like you are realizing your values don't align with certain people in your life. Because I was just looking back at those love related cards, actually, with the cloudy judgment and conflict. Um, it just makes me think you're moving in this different direction or you want to like be more you know what i just heard for you guys i just heard like stand on business like you want to stand on business and maybe other people around you like maybe they're not taking a specific like cause or goal seriously you know so these cards also make me think that you might have to like go at it alone at first or really be like you know like it makes me think of that energy of if you want to get something done right you have to do it yourself and then this card makes me think, but you still need to like find like that community and that support and the people that you can like build with and work with and grow with. And so I think you may have to like realize you're changing because that hair was changing. They cut their hair, you know what I mean? So again, like this reference to letting go of things so that these new things can come in or that you could build so that you could build a so more solid foundation in regards to your goals and the things that you want to achieve in this lifetime. So 
that's really what I'm seeing for you guys Aries I do feel like there's also a lot of luck around you I was kind of saying at the beginning that there could be some kind of opportunity that you're receiving and so you may need to like go for it and recognize that it's time to move away from certain people or certain things or even certain like identities roles responsibilities that you were taking on and move toward what feels more true and authentic to you and what you feel is going to also like allow you to help more people in the long run or be more um, available for the things that you truly value and that you truly feel are important to you you know what I mean so I'm gonna leave it there uh, if you did enjoy this reading feel free to comment below like uh, subscribe I really would appreciate it I'm trying to get some engagement um, but otherwise watch the other videos for your sign so if you do have like a different moon rising Sun all of that watch for the other signs and let me know how these readings resonate with you guys but otherwise I'll talk to you guys soon take care and bye